we have to say that today's program is highly dedicated to all of the vaccine updates in Thailand, whether it's the acquisition of Pfizer or even what will happen to the people aged 60 years old, whether they have any more options apart from the AstraZeneca vaccine. But first of all, Thailand recorded 2,044 new COVID-19 infections today, and that raises the total infections in the latest outbreak since April to 49,992, while the cumulative total since last year is now 78,855. At the same time, 27 new COVID-19 deaths are also recorded today, bringing the death toll to 363. Bangkok recorded a single day's new high today with 869 new infections, followed by Nontaburi, Sumupraka, Suratani, and others. Meanwhile, Dulalungkong University has agreed to have their facilities used for vaccine inoculation among teachers in Bangkok before the opening of the new school term scheduled on June the 1st. The vaccination will be conducted by health officials from the Ministry of Public Health to be held on the fourth and the fifth floor of Damjuri Square. Vaccination is due to start in the middle of this month, targeting around 1,500 teachers a day. The university rector, Professor Bantit Ua Apon, said that after school teachers and university lecturers are vaccinated, other personnel working at the university, including their relatives and students, will be the next group to be inoculated. The vaccination campaign is a joint effort between the university and the Ministry of Public Health. He also said that the university has planned to extend the vaccination services to areas in Patumwan and Saton districts to speed up vaccine access by the people. He said that if this service is proven to be successful, it will be extended to other universities in Bangkok and eventually across the country.